Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about bitwise and, bitwise not, bitwise or, bitwise xor. We are going to learn. These are the bit bitwise operations. Maybe you, I'm sure you already know. Uh, which is, if you don't know, here is the table. And means, for example, 0 and 0 equals to 0. 0, 1 equals to 0. In our case, 0, 1 is equal to 1. Blah, blah. If you don't know, you can check this list also. These are uh, bitwise tables we can call and uh, we are going to learn how these operations working on OpenCV site um, by the way why we need these kind of uh, functions because in bitwise functions uh, first of all mostly used in binary images in image processing so maybe you want to get the um, difference of two binary images you can easily use bitwise and or bitwise or accordingly so mostly it's used in binary images in image processing. Also, it's used in uh, image segmentation. Maybe we can make an example also in the code part. So it's also used in image segmentation mostly and in some object detection, uh, sub process, sub step parts. And that's why these uh, operations are important also in image processing. That's why it's included in OpenCV. Okay, um, the all is similar. Uh, just it uh, except the not operation the other staking source 1 source 2 and this is also source 1 source 2 and this is also source 1 source 2 since not only needed one function because um, it will directly take the reverse of the uh, input so it's, it doesn't need the second input uh, source met source input array okay we can switch to the code part uh, first of all we need to define two met so we can uh, we can make the operations on these two met and the first one is gonna be input one is equal to cv met and in here we are gonna use unsigned char because it doesn't need it to be float also it should be unsigned char and here we can define the sizes two width two height is gonna be enough for the first example and after that we can uh, specify the numbers um, I'm gonna start with 1 0 0 and 1 let's start with this one also I need to get the parentheses okay now I created one my first input one and I'll also need input 2 in the same sizes and we can put different values this is, can be 1 this is 0 0 and this can be also 0 okay now all we need to do is that uh, calling the bitwise let's say and function and uh, first of all we need to give the input one then input two and after that the destination image we need to define also destination okay now we are ready also we can define the window so we can easily zoom or we can also visualize better okay also im show need to be modified input 2 is gonna be destination and input 2 input 1 okay this should be working let's run the code okay this is input 1 this is input 2 and this is the destination so 1 and 1 is equal to 1 0 and 1 is equal to 0 0 and 0 is equal to 0 1 and 0 is equal to 0 also you can uh, verify from the table which is in here now we can also try maybe or one more and the others I don't want to try because all working in the same way and let's see the or function this is input 1, input 2 and this is the destination 1 one or 1 is equal to 1, 0 or 1 is equal to 1, 0 or 0 is equal to 0, 1 or 0 is equal to 1 so this is the simple one what about our input can be if they are different than 1 and 0 let's say 34 or 44 because they can be right because it doesn't have to be only 1 and 0 they can be different numbers what happened in, in this case they give us uh, 
34, 44 and it give us the output as 46. Why this is like that? Let's check this one. First of all, we need to convert to understand why that output comes. The output, by the way, 46. Just keep in mind. Okay, 34. This, this is the uh, website which convert decimal to binary easily. 34 is equal to this one. Copy this and paste here. And the same thing for the for the 44. And this is the binary corresponding of 44. Now uh, we can manually check this. This is OR operation. 1 or 1 is 1. 0 or 0 is 0. 0 or 1 is 1. 0 or 1 is 1 again. 1 or 0, 1. 0 or 0, 0. So now uh, we need to take this binary and convert from binary to decimal and enter the value. This is the 46. So this is the number which it gives us as output. So it actually it works in the same way, just like one and zeros. So all it's doing is that uh, just converting 34 to binary corresponding, same in the same way 44 to binary corresponding and taking the or operation of those binaries and giving the result as decimal. This is how it's working. And uh, similarly in AND and others it will work in that way. Okay, uh, what about uh, with a real image? This is LENA image, which I always use in my examples. And uh, maybe we can delete this. With LENA, since I only have one image now, we can use maybe for NOT operation. NOT. Uh, for NOT operation, I only need one input, which is going to be image. And the second one is going to be the destination. I don't need the third parameter. And now also change this to image so I can see the input also. Let's see the result. Okay. Now it's doing the NOT operation to this input. And you can see the output. Uh, at the beginning, I said to you, it's also uh, used. These bitwise operations are used for image segmentation. You can also see here, it's uh, in some way it's making a segmentation because the separated the regions are uh, mostly separated. This is not operation only. For example, if you any other in the same size uh, different kind of image, you can use and or or operation or XOR. But for this image, I just use not operation. And yes, in this video, I just wanted to talk how these bitwise operations are working in OpenCV. So see you in the next videos.